for the rest of your life. Forever. You know what I'll never do? It? Go to the movies with you because your movie selection is awesome. Please, you loved it. I love it. Come on. One chick like every 12 months isn't going to kill you. Really? Because I feel like I'm dying on the inside right now. No, I'm, I literally feel nauseous right now. Okay. Not what? Next time you get to choose. Sounds good to me. Thomas Dedlin, Dimplin, was elected to a half-on-the-line stand with the 
are stepping up their search efforts and confirmed that no grounds into that has been made. Local police counties cooperating have this to say. Sir, where the rest of my work shirts? Right here. Thank you. Please stand on this one. Yeah. Well, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Don't forget we're having dinner with my sister and boyfriend. You were doing the last one? Yes. Anyway, 7 o'clock. No, I never fit in with these guys. Yes, you do. You always do great, and I want you there. Hey. You think they have me in six? You're not that guy anymore. Besides, I'll, uh, what would you like to do? Back to work. You hang up on me and stare at guys. Uh, 
But trust me, if I wanted it to be dead. Just in case you have any doubts. Now, wait! <laughs> Sorry, Nick, we got a schedule to keep. In fact, let me have a little bit of that for you.
You know, Nick, it's been funny how sometimes we can't see the very thing we're homeless. Even though it's staring us right in the face. Your tattoo. Nice tattoo. What's your name? Okay, okay, okay. Thomas. Tommy Weaver. Come on. Show me. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere with you, man. You're coming with me, whether you want to or not. Now get dressed. Looking at the camera. It's 
right, buddy. Smile for the camera. That's not it. That doesn't look like someone who just blew up his own ambulance. Just if he knows he's being filmed. Right there. He did it again. No, it's like he's looking at whoever he's talking to. Like, cameras watching him. Check the signal. See if it's being tapped by the outside sources. Yeah, the problem. You're serious. Yeah. It's okay. Sights? Yeah, we'll get right there. Someone fitting the most description just trashed the motel in Chinatown and abducted one of their guests. Let's work. Okay, here we go. Do you want to get on that? Make a call? So this is about money. That is why you kidnapped money. I didn't kidnap. Really? That's not what it looks like from where I'm sitting. What are the reasons it didn't mean? I don't know what you tell me. Wait, wait, I'm supposed to tell you why you kidnapped Look, I didn't want to do any of this. I didn't have a choice. I don't want money. Then what do you want? I don't want anything, all right? The guy that called from the cell room is behind all of this. He's already killed one person. He's threatened my wife. And he won't stop unless I play his crazy game. And what is that to his name? I don't know yet. But there has to be a connection. Hey, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Hear that beeping? That's my locator. Locator? Yeah. I'm on parole, bitch. Which I just violated because of you. So thanks a lot, asshole. What do you want parole for? Congratulations. They've been another one of your columns. And we are almost at the halfway point. Very exciting. Ah, oh, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Welcome to the game. Now, I am sure your new best friend has filled you in on the details. And, uh, Nick, I don't know if you've noticed, but Tommy is wearing an electronic tracking bracelet. Now, because you've been following the rules, I'm going to give you a little help. I have blocked the signal to Tommy's anklet, so the police can't find you. Yet, we wouldn't want to end our fun so soon, now would we, boy? But, let me leave you both with a little reminder. Just got really lucky at it. 
Tommy just got released from rehab two days ago. Which is exactly when the governor went missing. Do you think the Malloy's involved in the governor's disappearance? It's not a coincidence. The governor's grabbed the same day as kids released. Check with the rehab facility. See what Tommy got chummy with. Maybe he got in deep with someone he met there. This is a way of showing him we're serious. Hey, it's better be good news. Yeah, listen, we pulled a plate off the traffic cam uh, near the motel. Uh, the Lord left the scene in 2012 for the No, uh, yeah, we tried. Uh, it's blocked, so we can't trace it. Also, Tom is wearing a tracking device as conditions of his parole. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, not really. We can't trace that out of it, guys. Uh, I mean, this is unlike anything we've seen before. It's top of the line stuff, and it's way above our pay grade, so. All right. Stay on it. Call me when you get something. Do what our best. charge get reduced to less than a year in rehab. <laughs> Answer me. Answer me! Hey, my dad, okay, my dad! He, he got my charges reduced! I mean, he pulled some strings. He, he got a, 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 a good judge. He hired a great lawyer. A great lawyer. The dead lawyer in the back of the trunk? Oh, 
This is how the piece is fit. You, me, the lawyer? Yeah. It was his wife. You killed his wife, man. You took something from him. And rather than pay for what you've done, you reasoned your way out. You cheated justice. Those were the scales you threw off balance. This is fucked up. This is fucked up. How can a guy just take the law into his own hands? You get better to avoid paying for your crimes? You know what they would do to me in prison? They'd kill me in a freaking week, man! Then you could have apologized to her in person. Yeah. It was an accident. It was a mistake. The worst mistake of my life. I didn't do it on purpose, okay? Is that right? Am I supposed to just throw away the rest of my life because of one really bad choice? What about the rest of her life? What about the rest of her life? This is all because of you. All this shit that's going on is because of you. People are dead because of you. My partner's barely alive. My wife's in danger because you, you didn't want to pay for what the fuck you had done. I got it. I know what this is about. It's about that night, the accident, the one time you caused. You lost your wife. I lost everything, Nick. I'm so sorry. What happened to her was all tragic. I'm sorry. Hey! Don't you dare pretend you're in the scene of all this. You saved him! If you would just let him die, none of this would have happened. None of this would have been necessary. She would have had the justice that she deserved. But no, no, Nick, you had to be a hero. I was doing my job. Your job was the same part. The innocent, not those who needlessly inflict suffering and pain. I tried. Don't you fail! Twelve jurors were supposed to decide his fate. They did. Now I am going to do it for them. For all of them. From up I don't know. Him, his rich father, the judge, the fat cat lawyer. You, Nick. This isn't the answer. The only answer that they're not going to be able to find their way out of it. Looks like our friend doesn't want to play anymore. Hey, you better get him back there, Nick. What do you mean you can't find him? Did you try tracking yourself? We did. Stop giving all the signal. Or he removed the batteries so we can't find him. That doesn't make any sense. Is he okay? We know he was fine when he left the scene. And when he abducted the governor's son. My husband didn't abduct anyone. Has he tried to contact you? No. I haven't heard from him since he left for work this morning. Was he maybe acting weird before he left? Did he say or do anything unusual? No. Everything was fine. Listen, the boy. Anything. You can tell us about what your husband might be up to. We'll only help us find him. Look, I'm sorry. I don't know, but whatever it is, Nick, it's not a part of it.
stop, okay? If you just listen to me. It's not how this works, man. Look, lady, I think you should really be listening to this guy. He's really bad. <laughs>
And what is it? My dad's old sugar refiner. He used this money to get into government. Money talks, right? There's a back way at one. Dave Patrick Keller was an engineer who founded one of those private security firms. They handled a lot of government contracts, elite military training, counter espionage hacking. Soon after his wife died in the accident, Keller quit the company, cashed in his stock options, and disappeared and completely off the grid until today. He's been busy planning for Thomas release. The kid with a bombing stomach? This morning was Derek Myers. He was the valet at the club with Tommy Party the night of the accident. Jesus. Nothing about tonight was random. He planned it all. Well, his fun to talk to him. The geeks have traced the signal he's been tapping into. We got an address. Swap's on route. We're taking Keller tonight. Are you some players in change? Hey, watch out for the floor. It's really simple, all right? Broken, turn out me! Dad?
glued to his hand. It's not him. Who the hell is it? Judge Helmer. why it was his car that we wanted left at the motel. Ha! 
and where you are. I know you, so let me go. Um, I'll turn myself in. I promise I'll pay for what I did. Do you remember a year ago? This place. Chance the gun gets you zero. Okay. Choose. One. Two. That's it. Drink up. Come on. Next. 
Okay, welcome back, Nick. Just in time for the final round. We're taking a little ride down memory lane. The ride that ends the same way that my dear Diana's did. Hello, stop. You don't have to do this. Of course I do, Nick. You know, you've been a really, really good sport tonight. Unfortunately for all of us, the game's about to end. None of us are going to win this one. You're never going to turn yourself in. <laughs> Sorry about that, pal. Justice must be served. Justice? This is your idea of justice, killing an innocent woman? Sarah has nothing to do with any of this. Yeah, and neither did my wife! Tell you something, Nick. The system is broken, and it can be manipulated by those in power. We are very, very lucky that you probably found a judge that will work with us. Twelve months rehab! You're going to be free now. The only justice that we have is the ones we make for ourselves. This isn't justice, this is murder. This makes you exactly like Tommy. Hey! I have nothing like him! I am not like him. Looks the same to me, man. Yeah. Well, let me prove it to you. Shut the fuck up! You listen very carefully to me. In the next few minutes, there is going to be a rather horrific accident that's going to take place at the intersection. But Sherwood and Grant, I suggest you get ambulances there now. Shut up! Huh? See? Nick? Huh? I just gave you a better chance than my wife ever had. You happy now? Those fuckers down. <laughs> Sweetheart, that is exactly what I intend to do. Well, this is it, Nick. Now the big finale. And even though the ambulances are coming, I'd say it's time we end our game with a bang. Look at you. How you feeling, Nick? You're about to lose everything and you're powerless to do anything about it. But at least I'll give you a chance. A chance to say goodbye to your wife. You have three minutes. You're pathetic. You think this is the kind of man your wife wanted you to become a murderer? No, I think she would agree that this is justice. The justice she never had. Maybe you'll get lucky, Nick. Maybe you'll get lucky, and there'll be a good Samaritan who just happens to be in the right place at the right time. Fuck you. Life. Anything. 
Exactly.